Now, your news on the go. Well, get ready to get your sweat on, which would be pretty easy this afternoon, but I mean gyms are open today. Fitness centers and gyms allowed to reopen for the first time during the pandemic. A lot of rules to follow, though, because of COVID-19. Capacity must be capped at 33%. Masks to be worn at all times, and you must sign in and out of the gym for contact tracing purposes. And everyone who goes to a gym has to go through health screening before using any of the equipment. Destiny USA is scaling back their hours. Starting tomorrow, the big mall will open an hour later in the morning, now at 11 a.m., and close two hours earlier in the evening, now at 7 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Sunday's hours at Destiny will remain the same, 11 to 6. And today, of course, marks the first day of a very different fall semester at SU and some other colleges. COVID-19 has forced a lot of changes. At SU, 23 students are already on interim suspension because they violated COVID guidelines. SU has been doing testing of each student as they arrive on campus. They've been putting protocols in place as put forth by the state. And John, we're going to get a briefing from one of the SU vice presidents at mid-afternoon. So we'll have more on this starting at 4. All right, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Weather-wise, Dan, it is actually uh, pretty quiet out there right now. Nothing going on. I live Doppler 9, although I expect a few spotty storms to pop south and east of Syracuse later this afternoon. So if you're going out on Lake Ontario, I think you're in good shape. Uh, enjoy uh, waves a foot or less. Winds are pretty light with a good deal of hazy sun. Make sure you have that sunscreen. You will need it. Temperatures again solidly into the 80s. Water temperature in the 70s, so good for a swim as well. Your seven-day forecast, if you're like, all right, I'm ready for the heat to end there, John. Uh, give me a break. All right, I'll give you a break tomorrow. Few showers, maybe a morning thunderstorm or two. Any storm that pops late tonight, tomorrow morning could be a little gusty, but I think the chances of widespread severe weather are basically non-existent. But there could be a strong or severe storm here and there. Okay. We'll be on uh, watch for that. Yeah, and Kate will be on it uh, tomorrow morning, obviously. Uh, temperatures falling through the low 80s into the 70s later tomorrow afternoon. Dan with sun looks great. We'll taste a fall on Wednesday. And then Thursday, some rain showers and be a thunder shower. 70s turning muggier. Uh, Friday, scattered showers and be a few storms later in the day into the start of Saturday, possibly from the remnants of Laura.